But between these two, one of my favorite pieces, I'd probably wear this one more, but these are two of my favorite pieces that we got so far. What up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, man. You know, I'm trying to stay consistent 2024, so I'm trying to push these videos out for y'all. But today, we're going to be checking my P.O. box, seeing what stuff y'all sent through, rating the brands and stuff like that, giving y'all some feedback. If you couldn't tell, ooh, ooh, niggas got a new camera, you feel me? Uh, wide angle lens now, so you can see everything in this motherfucker. And then I can hold the camera hella close to my face and you can still see everything. I also have a mic on my stuff. Let me show you how it looks. As y'all can see, we got a new setup. Hopefully the quality's a little bit better. Let me know down below if the quality's better. I posted on my Instagram story, but first I posted in my school with all the people that I mentor. I told them to send through your stuff, leave a little note and stuff like that, and we're gonna review it for a video. I did this before and it did pretty well. So we're about to bring these in. I'm gonna put y'all on some new pieces. And yeah, hopefully y'all mess with them. So yeah, let's go grab the pieces. All right, as you can see, we got some packs here. And before y'all ask, I'm gonna pop up my PO box right here. Uh, so if y'all wanna send anything through, uh, my sizes, they're all in my promo prices, they're all in my IG highlights. So y'all can go send something through. As y'all can see, I got that new Project Capri on me. This one ain't even released yet. Hey, this hoodie's so slept on, but I didn't even get to really promote it for real to show people like how it fits, the quality of it. Literally, it has the same exact dimensions as an Essentials hoodie. They got the 3D letters and shit on it, everything. I'm about to promote these and I'm gonna make them go viral like I know how to do. Uh, but they still did well. I dropped 150 of them. There's probably about like 30 left on the site right now, I think. So make sure y'all go to projectpre.com. Two eyes if y'all want some. All right, y'all. So we finna review all these. I'm with my homie Aiden right now. If y'all don't know, he owns the brand Prashi Apparel. So I'm gonna throw up his IG and stuff right there. Y'all go mess with him. We both have two different brands, kind of two different niches. So we're both gonna rate the. We're gonna rate them one through ten. What you should change, what you did well, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. For everybody that's seeing, y'all get y'all content in, and I'm gonna put y'all onto some new pieces. I've been waiting on this piece for so long. I DM this brand a minute ago because this piece was so tough. Flawless forever. If y'all can find it, that's the name of it. This is the piece I've been wanting though. So let me unbox this for you. As y'all can see right here, get a good look at that. And look, on the back, got the embroidered, what are those, like bees or some shit? Or flies, yeah. Embroidered flies. This is tough. And like, it's a it's a weird color combo, but like, if you could put that shit on, you can definitely like, make this shit work. It got the little zipper right here. This, in my opinion, was executed really well. Accepted my flaws, then I became flawless forever. Flawless existence, unregretful demise, autumn, winter, 20, 2022, 2023. With this item, we started off really strong. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. What they could have improved is there's no neck tags, which I had or don't have neck tag, this dropped too. So it could have been a neck tag just so it's easier to find. And then two, this is a large and it looks quite tiny. So I'm hoping it fits me well, but I feel like a large for this should fit pretty baggy. So yeah, they could have maybe changed the size chart a little bit, but this is definitely a nine out of 10 right here. So from the look of it, you'd probably think these are denim, but then if you turn it around, they're actually sweats. I wonder how the fit of these would be. I don't know, these are some unique shits though. I mm -hmm. fuck with it. How do you feel about these? I give those like a 7.5 out of 10. They just have a light. Yeah, pretty light, but I fuck with them low key. And the concept, the concept tough. Yeah, could have been executed maybe a little bit better. Maybe with the design on the front. What is this, like DTF? Yeah, it's either screen print or, or DTF. DTF. Definitely not DTG. All right, best. so I'm gonna give this one like a seven and a half out of 10. This brand right here, uh, I believe it's called Flawless Forever. So y'all go tap in with them. Oh, it's a beanie. If y'all didn't know, since I've been getting my hair retwisted now, I can actually wear beanies. I've been wearing a beanie a little bit more. Yo Capri, I'm Mari. Mari.j2k. Hope you like this, bro. Maybe it can fit on your head. I'm a brand owner, only one year older than you, and you're a massive influence. Keep doing you, bro. By the way, the cards um outdated. Fuck with at no evil.us. All right, bet. So that's the note they left. Appreciate you, bro. Let's see. Hope I can. They got a woven tag on the beanie, and this motherfucker wide. It might fit my big ass head. Let me see. Ah, <laughs> fuck. I don't think it fits. Hold on. I fuck with the color, yeah, nah, that shit look like a condo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. It doesn't fit. Um, The material of it could have been better just to be a little bit like more stretchy, maybe. It says no evil. Not too bad, something simple. The woven tag added a little thing to it. A little better size chart of this um, would have been tough. And then maybe... uh, I mean, it was just his brand name. Yeah, it's just brand name, so nothing really too crazy you could change like about star. the design. Um, with a yeah. star. Here's a better look at that for y'all. Noevil.us. Like 
six out of ten. Yeah, about a six out of ten. The woven tag was yeah. some cool, but yeah. I can't fit it, so obviously I'm gonna be biased. By the way, y'all, I keep all of y'all notes. Like I literally have like a drawer in my room that has like a bunch of these that I've ever got. So I definitely appreciate them. Hope you receive this package. Can't wait for you to pick up this piece. Fly ass motherfucker. Tag us on IG or send us pics to at product of SK. I mean SX, my bad. Product of, product of SX. Right, I'll make sure to put that up on the screen. Off rip, I could feel it was a shocker. Sure, off, yeah. yeah, I could feel it was a shocker. Boom, this is the tee we got right here. Off rip, I'm already gonna like the fit of the tee just because it's a shaka. I use this for like my thug tees and stuff like that. He uses it for his tees. Let me look at the design a little bit closer. It's cool, the quality low key carries is definitely cool, but the design could be better just because if you look at it, like it's skulls, an ATM, money, fire. You know what I mean? Like just a little bit more unique. Like it kind of looks like it was like made with emojis damn near. You know what I mean? But just cause of the quality, it would be something that I would like throw on to go hoop or I would wear to go on to like a quick run for. Was it DTG? Yeah, and it's DTG. So I know this was pretty expensive to make. It was at least like 22 to $25 per T to make. Actually maybe less cause there's nothing on the back. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So I'll give this like a seven out of 10. what do you think yeah, about that's it? Yeah, that's solid. I feel what you're saying. I like the colors, but. There could be something on the back as well. And it's just mainly the brand name. Like it's hard selling your tea when it's just a brand name. Like if you're Sorry, brand, I was trying not to laugh. If you're brand bro, artist, I, I promise you this dude is not this awkward. Like he gets on camera like, and mind y'all, I have really bad social anxiety. Like I had to speak in front of my business management class today and my heart was literally in my ass and my hands were shaking. I have really bad um, social anxiety, but this motherfucker is the most outspoken motherfucker I know. King then, Yapper? Uh, yeah, he's like the King Yapper, and then the camera turns on and he just becomes hella awkward. It's just funny, my bad. But yeah, I give this, like I said, seven, right? Did I say yeah, seven or six? I saw that. Yeah, seven. I give this a cool seven out of ten. Y'all go tap it with them. What was their IG? Product of SX. Go tap it with them. Okay, we got two pieces. Reckless Rockstar is the brand name. Okay. This is kind of like, this is this is kind of, this is a little different, I ain't gonna lie. Just cause I know y'all can't really peek, but the quality of this is like the quality of like a button up, kind of feel that. It's like the quality yeah, yeah, of like a polo. polo. Yeah, like a polo button up. And then look, it even has a split right here, like a polo button up. So, now nah, this is a little different, I ain't gonna but lie. But it don't got a color, like it don't got the um, polo color. Yeah, it doesn't have the polo it's color though. Low key, the, um, the individual garment of this, Helps the uh, helps it a lot, you know what I mean. I'm not sure what print you used here. I can't tell if this is. I don't think this is screen print because the stitching goes over it. Definitely not DTG. But yeah, this is actually pretty cool. I'm gonna give this like a 7.5 out of 10. It definitely has a lot going on. Let me give y'all a better look real quick. It definitely has a lot going on. You know what I mean? But like this actually like the quality of this is great. I'm not gonna lie. The quality of this is tough. Feel that. I don't know how I feel about the color mash with the red, the purple, and the black. You would have to have like a really specific outfit for this in mind. Mm -hmm. And also it's always good for your clothes to have a repeat value to where people will wear them multiple times this is probably something you'd order build a fit around it flick up in it and then never put it on again you know what i mean but the quality of it's nice i'm almost 100 percent sure that it's cropped like way too much yeah it looks like it's cropped like way too much but that's an xl too yeah this is an xl so i don't even know how a small or medium would look what you could have done better with this item is maybe the di a different color mash probably a better size chart just so it fits more like a cardigan and just a little bit less cropped arms are pretty wide though so it's kind of mm -hmm. like a drop shoulder t-shirt mm -hmm. it's kind of like them uh capri ones yeah it's like the drop shoulder t-shirt but it's like um what material not remember what material this is this is kind of like polo tees once again i mean so i'll give this a seven two this is from Reckless Rockstars. How you feel about it? No, I fuck with it. Uh, your belly will be out wearing this motherfucker. Oh god, you might as well go to the strip. <laughs> nah. You got the right idea, just gotta tweak a couple things to make it a 10K, 20K, 30K product. You know what I mean? Yeah, this just says Aiden Ali. I hope they got some brand back here. Bro, y'all be paying that ticket, man. $60. I don't know if y'all can tell, but this has rhinestones on it. But if you look at the little missing dots, there's like hella missing rhinestones. Like my tweaking, you see all those dots? Yeah. So one, I can already tell this was either made in Pakistan or by like a low quality Chinese manufacturer. Um, let me see, you got, what is it? Screen print on the back. You got puff print on the 
front. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I could, if you price this cheap, I could see people buying it and wearing it. I would personally up your quality. You know what I mean? Uh, either make that move to China, maybe a better Pakistan manufacturer one. Your rhinestones should be a little bit bigger. These are like almost half the size of the rhinestones on mine. Mm -hmm. But this is, I like the colors of it. It's vibrant. Like I could definitely see people putting a fit together with these. People love stuff that's easy to match with. And these, you could throw these on with some black jeans and some yellow thunder fours and niggas think they fly as fuck. So yeah, put it here. It looks like it had an oversized hood too. I get this like a seven too, to be honest. Mm -hmm. What'd you give it? I'll give it like six and a half. Six and a half? All right, bet. Okay, so this is how it looks right here. Here's the hoodie. You can see on the back, we got some stuff going on here. What does that say? It says, I heart being dolo. Oh, I love being dolo. Okay. Got a full zip, full embroidery. It's probably cost a little bit, honestly, from Pakistan still, but uh, I would change, I wouldn't use screen print, screen print and DTF and stuff like that doesn't last too long. As you can see, it's like very scratchable. And if I wash it a couple times, I'd probably be able to peel it like that. Uh, the full zip is cool. I like the tagging you got right here. Oh, the brand name, they finally, I finally found it. Dolo Man. That's the brand name right there. Y'all can find the Instagram, somebody drop it down low for me. Not really gonna be a trend in 2024, but definitely still a good beginner piece. Most of y'all pieces are better than my pieces in the beginning sometimes, so. That's all that matters, you starting out good. That's the zipper, zipper quality. This shit not working to it, I ain't gonna lie. Zipper quality could be better, but when you go to Pakistan, you can't be picky. But obviously this is a matching set. At least they're not flared. Yeah, they're calm. Yeah, there's some calm. I probably, to be honest, I probably end up throwing this bitch on like for, y'all Y'all send stuff to my PO box and I end up wearing it way more than you think, I'm not gonna lie. Like I just be wearing little random shit, but. This is one thing we gotta stop 2024 though, me, myself included. Um, just the default like large and shit like that. Try to put your own tags on it, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, actually I have a lot of clothes that stores want me to like, Buy, want to buy off me so I can be in stores, but I don't have personalized tags So I don't know if I'm gonna do it yet I don't know if I'm gonna tag him like this or something like how he did but yeah, definitely 2024 try to get some tags Definitely helps, but I'll give this suit overall 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, would you give it? Yes, yeah, sir 7.5 out of 10 some calm. Yo, what's up Caprice? This is one of our newest and best-selling hoodies our reflective wicked hoodie. We hope you like it our website is wicked apparel dot co dot oh wicked apparel co dot com tiktok and ig wicked apparel dot co all right so we're actually gonna put this to the test so i hope this shit is reflective good. okay pakistan on the quality we're for the test if this shit's legit how good this reflectiveness is okay so it definitely is reflective as you can see. The hood is cool, it's definitely reflective. They got puff print reflective. They have a satin hood. So if you have um, dreads, curls, whatever, help. They got custom tags on the inside. It's definitely, um, not. A, they have custom zippers too. So they're paying attention to details, I like that. Only thing left they would have to do is just up their quality. As you guys know, I've built a hatred for Pakistan manufacturers. I think he's building one too because he damn near <laughs> just got scammed by one literally like a week ago. Um, but yeah, anytime I can just tell something from Pakistan just by looking at it, um, just cause the quality, like this right here is China, but obviously not everyone can make that step just that quick, just because China is way more expensive. Honestly, I'm gonna give it a eight, even though I probably put, wouldn't personally wear it. I don't want to keep just giving people sevens, but I give it an eight just because, um, the attention to detail, like that it's reflective. It got a satin hood, custom mm -hmm. tags. You know what I mean? So they definitely took their time with it. The design could be better. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'll give this like an eight. I fuck with this. Yeah, what the fuck? This is calm, nice. It got distressing. Y'all know this is exactly, pull, hold the hood up real quick for me. This is exactly my type of shit right here. Good quality. Nothing too crazy with the design going on. DTG. It looks a little like sun faded. Mm -hmm. I'm, I can't tell if it's really sun faded. Um, got the oversized hood. I think it's a little cropped at the bottom, big pockets. As you guys can see, here's how the hoodie looks. I fuck with this. I'm actually gonna wear this. You know what I mean? This is why it's always beneficial if you have really tough shit to send it through because you'll probably end up seeing me this in a TikTok, a fucking feed post, whatever, just cause it's tough. Probably gonna like the proportions of it. I give this a nine out of 10. I wish they would have left a note. They got a, a custom tag. Oh, they have a custom tag, let me see. Yeah. This is from Made by Sinners and Saints. 
So this is by Admired. Somebody find their IG, tag on the comments, send them this clip. This shit's fire. What you gotta say about it, man? Nah, bro, everything you pinpointed it exactly. Quality's crazy, the stretch is cool. I fuck with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These mu th he must be in my fucking school. My I'm gonna pop up. If y'all don't know what school is, I'm gonna pop it up here. But he must be in my school because this seems like it was done with my manufacturer, some of my designers. But this is tough. Definitely a nine. Probably, honestly, probably between these two. One of my favorite pieces. I'd probably wear this one more, but these are two of my favorite pieces that we got so far. Yo, Caprice, thank you for being a huge inspiration to all of us, especially me. And you probably remember me because I always be texting you and shit. Hope you fuck with my, oh, my pants, no limits clothing brand. All right, yeah. If y'all didn't know in my school, I'd be helping all these brands, give them a designers, marketing tips, et cetera, et cetera. Just a little self plug in, you know what I mean? We about to hit 600 members in there, so. That's probably how he's texting me and getting help with stuff. But let's see if he's actually taking my advice. Because I can lead you to the water, but I can't make you drink it. So let's see if he's taking my advice. Okay, they're flared. Y'all know how I feel about puff print, though. I don't even want to get started this episode like I did last time. Y'all know how I feel about puff print, though. We definitely need to leave that in the past. But yeah, these are definitely nice. These are for Pakistan quality and for it to be fleece. These are nice. The flare comes all the way up to here. I hope I'm showing y'all these pieces good enough. I don't really know how to work with this camera yet because it's wide angle. But yeah, it's flared. Got the name going down it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Something calm, something calm. I give these like an eight. Yeah, you could definitely wear them. Yeah, you could definitely wear these. I could see people buying these. Yeah. Um, I would definitely switch out the puff print. Um... Honestly, with this quality and stuff like that, and probably the price point it's at, you can stay with Pakistan, but I'd either switch up the design or switch up what you're using. I personally only use like DTG or 3D words or something like that. I rarely will use screen print, puff print. I mean, yeah, screen print, puff print, any of that. I barely use any of that. I mean, they're just using their brand names. So I'll probably go with a design that don't involve their brand name, but mm -hmm. it's something you could definitely wear. Yeah. And like maybe change up the font. Yeah. It's like a common a font. Bubble font. Yeah. yeah. Starting out is hard to get big sales and big days and stuff like that when you're just selling your name. You know what I mean? Before, when I was making designs, when I was just first coming up in clothes and stuff like that, it wasn't just my name. It was something that the person would want to wear. And then once you build that fan base and your quality is that crazy, then you can just throw your brand name going down the leg and shit like that and sell and go crazy. But yeah, I give these an eight. What'd you give them? Seven. Seven. In your community, got some hard ass jeans coming, need the one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Yes, sir. He's in the school. That's how I know this quality is going to be crazy. I can feel how heavy it is. He's taking the advice. T is a sample. It's a members only T and I'm trying to build my SMS for it. All right, bet. Only people that's on his SMS list will be able to buy this shirt. Love China t-shirts most of the time. Let me see what it says on the back. See, this is where you lost me though. You had me, then you lost me. Look, okay, the members on the... The members only on the back is smooth, like it's cool, it's like paint brushed kind of, but the front design could definitely be better. Not even gonna sit here and cap to you, and I know you're in my school, so I know I can give you the hardcore truth, and you're just gonna use it as motivation, change up your shit, and drop some harder shit. But this could definitely be better. This looks like some stuff you could find on like, not Google, but like, you know what I mean? What is that, an eyeball? A ghost? No, I don't know. I'm tweaking. I thought it was an eyeball, but yeah, it's a shark. The design could definitely be better. The quality's on point. I already could tell the fitment of this is on point. Just work on your design. Uh, tap it with some of the designers. You know you can go to my list inside of our school and get right with that. You can even hit me up for a couple uh, tips and tricks on what you should change. So I'm going to give this like a 5 out of 10, to be honest. The quality carried this, but I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. These are kind of cool. I feel like the size fitting of these would be tough. I like the long jawstrings on some essential shit. I fuck with that. I got the pleat stitching right here. This is 3D printing, actually. Yeah, I'll give it a close look. We got a pleat stitching, 3D printing. These might be a little too small for me, so I might have to give these to my boy Aiden. But these definitely good quality. I give these... A 7 out of 10. Just starting off, just throwing your brand name on stuff will make it hard to sell. I'm also rating these on based on how I think they'll sell. You know what I mean? I think these could definitely sell. You definitely have like a 6K day with these probably. But if you wanted to boost that, throw some different shit on here. But these are definitely cool. Yo, what's good, Caprice? I'm a 6-year-old clothing brand owner and I just... <laughs> sell. What? You said 6-year-old. Six, 6? Six? Yeah. I said 6? Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
Yo, it's good, Caprice. I'm a 16 year old clothing <laughs> brand owner, and I just want to say you are very inspiring, and I'm in your mentorship. And you said you would wear my flair, so I wanted to send you a pair. My brand IG is at Strike Studios with two S's. Yeah, no, these are smooth. Yeah, I like this. These are smooth. These are calm, simple. This is some shit I'd wear to school. My strings right here. Got the custom tag on the inside. You know what I mean? But like the fitment of these is probably gonna. I would try these on, but I'm not trying to take off my fix. I gotta go flick up. But the fitment of these is probably gonna be nice. I'm gonna give these a solid. Eight. That's eight they're simple if these were like polyester or what is it called like like track pants material <laughs> like what is that called? yeah if this is like if this is like track pants material nylon yeah like nylon i think it's called would be <laughs> a little yeah, bit it's tougher it's like packaging off rip you just take the packaging but big ass collar Ooh, okay we got a double layer t here wait rhinestone wait rhinestone jet like i low-key think i used to be mutuals with this guy on ig but nah there's definitely a lot going on with this but I fuck with it for some reason. I think it got, yeah, it got the big rhinestones coming off of here. It got the double layer. Check the back out right here. Boom. I fuck with the design. Yeah, the design's cool. Only thing is you should probably have like three different colorways of this just so it's not so crazy and you don't look like fucking Pepto-Bismol, Skittles and shit like that all at once. <laughs> but this is definitely a tough piece. Yeah, I give this piece a 8.5 out of 10 is probably like the third ranking piece for today. This one's from Rich Off Hustle. Wings oh, Studios. same Wings Studios. I think I know them, yeah. OG Minty, hope you like this tea, Capri. You've helped me a lot in my brand a lot. Hope to work with you for real in the future. Sanguine Studios. The front's looking. Go drop down below. Let me know how y'all fuck with these pieces. And at the end of the video, go drop down y'all favorite piece down below. This had a back looking. This is actually a pretty good quality uh, Pakistan tee, to be honest. Usually, like, Pakistan, the thing I hate from them the most is the t-shirts. Because, like, it got the scrunched up look and stuff like that. And they always use screen print. But, yeah, this is cool. Got screen print. I mean, not screen print. I meant to say DTF. But, yeah, this has got screen print. The design is cool. What it says? What greatness sounds like. So, this is, like, a rapper type of tee. I mean, like, a band type of tee. And you got like this tour dates on the back. I give this a cool seven. I like how it's oversized and this is a large and they go all the way up to XXL. And y'all been spamming me saying to make XXLs. So for all the big boys out there, go tap in with them, they'll get you right. This shit might even be big on me and this is a large. So I give this a seven out of 10. Hope you like it Caprice at richoffhustle.us. I fuck with this, you know what I mean? Low key, if you're watching this, I might need a bigger one though. Cause I have a horny tee, like the NY that says horny tee, and it's a medium also. And like, I can't, I don't know if you could tell, but the tee is pretty slim. But this is a Drake tee from like his newest album, I believe. Give it an 8.5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Shockerware is always good quality. Good Thank quality you. rapper tee, yeah. Eight. It's tough. They got rhinestones on it. They got rhinestones on it. Let me show y'all this piece right here. This is tough right here. Actually, I can't even tell if this is a high quality Pakistan manufacturer or if this is a China manufacturer. So if this is Pakistan, you found you a good one, I'm not gonna lie. Because he was working with the same Pakistan manufacturer as this motherfucker and that one left quick. This is definitely fire. This is definitely top three pieces of the day so far. Even the screen print is pretty good quality, so it's not like peeling or anything. This is definitely fire. I give this a nine out of 10. Starting off good so far. I haven't even looked at it yet. This is, this is smooth. I can tell the size chart of this is kind of off. Like if I try this on, it would look really weird. It's pretty smooth. It's cut off at the bottom, so it's raw hem. This is French Terry material. Yeah, this is DTG, I believe. It kind of looks like Val Forever or Val Lives. That's cool. Size chart could be a little bit better. This would have been tough as hell on like a drop shoulder tee for sure. But this is from Vital. All right, but I give this like a six. Yo, appreciate the opportunity to be in the video. I'm also in the community. My username is Zaire. You commented fire under some of my upcoming pieces I dropped in the community. So if you go check let me know which pieces you want and i'll get them to you when they're done but this is an extra tea i had for my first drop that sold out so i wanted to get it to you my brand name is astra and my brand ig is astra star club no that's tough Ooh. no that's tough Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh this is an eight out of ten for sure pretty unique too i fuck with it uh it's got some lot of shit going on in the front but you could definitely put a fit together with this. I see why it's sold out. And he's in my community, so obviously it's sold out. You know what I mean? We just we having people have their first 30K months or shit like that. Not to boost my own bubble or anything. But, you know what I mean? This is the last five packages that we are on. So I want you to stop what you're doing right now. And so far, go comment down your favorite piece. One piece that stuck out to you. One piece that you went to their Instagram. Anything like that. Go comment your favorite piece down below right now. And if you're still watching, hit that sub button. We are on the road to 100K. We're trying to hit a 100K on YouTube before the end of the year. Hopefully more than that. 
So yeah, go hit that sub button. Let's open these last packages so I can go get some food. Dear Caprice, oh damn, this best, is best regards. Best regards. This is sentimental. Right? Go right an email. Oh god, dear Caprice, I want to personally thank you for giving us all the opportunity to send our clothes to you. I sent you one of my best pieces for my job. Let me know your opinion on the fit and the quality of this please please be as critical as possible you're one of the biggest inspirations in the game right now my goal is to one day scale my brand and become an influencer like you i've always had a passion for streetwear and photography and i'm willing to put in the work necessary to master them both best regards my brand name is new world visions my instagram handle is at new world visions with a z at the end and two w's also if you ever need photography work done for your brand my photography page is luxury.portraits off the rip i can tell it's from pakistan which isn't bad, but I'm always pressed the issue just so even the people that aren't in my school so they can't hear this, just to try to make that switch to China this year. If you want to separate your brand, the only way to make your brand by the eye visually looking, look different from all these other brands is to go to China. This actually isn't a bad executed tea if we're gonna keep it a bean. This is screen print on the front. The design is kind of like, it is a screen um, print design on the back. He has, I believe that's his brand name in the shape of a circle with like the bloody hand on it. It's pretty well executed. This might be a pre-made design, to be honest. I could see this being on one of those like bitch ass design pages that <laughs> tag me in everything they post. Like on the my Indonesian. Brand. Yeah, like the fucking scamming ones. This could be a pre-made design. I'd give this like a seven out of 10, 7.5 out of 10, just cause of the niche of it. I definitely, um, change up the screen print even though this screen print isn't too bad of quality the t-shirt quality is good the neck tag is good mm -hmm. i just personally don't mess with the design too much this design has absolutely too much going on with it like the um jesus design and the in god that we trust is cool but like all this like the little lines the stars the name font like it's just a lot the design isn't horrible it just has a lot going on i mean it's like a 6.5 out of 10. what's going on caprice i know you'd be putting that shit on so i had to send you a piece for my brand only 10 of these were made but i had to make sure you had one lol your vision for the clothing industry is inspiring and motivating no matter how old you are stay p josh from scarface what the fuck that shit look like the spider finna jump out and get a nigga Look at that shit. That's like golly. Uh, that's that's like the puff. overly. Yeah, that's the puffiest of the puff right there. They like mixed that a little wrong. Golly. Like, but I mean, for this, he probably did that on purpose for the spider. Mm. But this is pretty. This is pretty simple. The quality of the tea is good. It has the inside tag. Uh, this screen print isn't the best material. Um, well, it isn't the best like quality. If y'all look at that, the puff is like coming coming out of like the shirt the design itself is simple and it's just your brand name with a spider so i'd give this like a 6.5 even though the quality of this is tough and i'll probably end up wearing it i'll give it like a 6.5 design wise sell wise etc all right which one do you think i should open first that one this one open this one right. had to send to one of the flyest i know hope you fuck with it at self continued or no self-contained clothing my nigga <laughs> <What>? <laughs> i've been wanting this tea i've seen this tea i don't know if i even ever texted you but i wanted this tea and thank you thank you for sending it this tea right here is tough now this has a lot going on don't get me wrong but if you pause and read peep like the newspaper. details huh it looks like a news newspaper yeah it's like a newspaper like article this is tough i'll definitely end up wearing this you could probably like layer this with some stuff it got the last supper on here everything this tea is crazy it is pretty thin i'll let you slide just for the one time i'll let you slide you got the inside tags i'm gonna get this a cool 8.5 out of 10 just kind of been waiting for this tea with good quality though this shit would be crazy this shit could even go on a hoodie to keep it a bean. Low key, yeah, a hoodie would be tough for that. Like maybe something simple on the front of a hoodie, but this on the back. Cause I don't maybe know how yeah. this would go on the front. Like with a oh, big yeah. pocket, I don't know how it would go on the front. Bottega Desires, let's bust this open. I don't know which item it's gonna be, but the homie's brand is tough, so this shit is tough. Oh yeah, I like this. This is tough. We got the camo. We got the camo, it says Bottega. We got the um, waffle on here. This shit is tough. Got the inside tag, Bottega Desires. This shit is tough. I give this a nine right here. See, I got a long sleeve with waffle from like this one big black brand that be sending me shit. You know what I mean? It's called like, what is it called? Like Project. Project. I fuck with these. Yeah, I don't know. They be sending me some bullshit though, but I got one long sleeve from a brand called like Project Capri, I think, or some shit. Waffle, vintage, custom, okay. Died on the neck. You know what I mean? 
So I appreciate y'all for sending everything out. I'm gonna give y'all my top five items right now. So this, I'm not gonna put them in any order, but this top five, this top five, this top five, this top five, this is top five. These are some new pieces that I added to my collection. I appreciate y'all for sending everything out. I don't know how long this video is, but I'm gonna try to be more consistent 2024. I promise you we on that road to 100K. This room looks crazy right now. My back hurts. We lost my basketball game today. <laughs> so ain't shit funny, you know what I mean? That is about to wrap up this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, found some new pieces, fuck with the content, you know what I mean? Uh, once again, here's my P.O. box. Uh, go follow Project Capri on IG, Caprice on IG. And if you want to start a clothing brand, need help with your clothing brand, want to scale your shit, want personal mentorship, join my school. There will be a link in the description and a little preview right here. That's going to end off this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Drop a sub. Peace.